imprisoned in the underworld by his sons Zeus and Hades, none are prepared for the wrath of Kronos. Father of the gods, king of the titans. Years ago, I got involved with a cult, a dangerous cult, but are still active today. I owe it to the world to tell people who the cult of Saturn really are. Today we dive down the rabbit hole of Worlds.com and the cult of Saturn. A lot of history on the internet has sort of come out of 4chan. But what if I told you there was once a cult infiltration of a 4chan group that caused certain members to actually be hospitalized? It all feels surreal to me. I'm seeing a lot of other creators that are of kind of a like mind to me independently talking about the death cult. I saw some culty things. Cult. Everybody is talking about the cult. It's a cult. That a cult called the cult of Saturn. Now, this is a very big rabbit hole. From 2009 to 2013, the cult of Saturn was able to catch the interest of hundreds and lead people through a massive ARG that boiled down to one man. Long story short, mm -hmm. in this blog post, Tara then talks about being introduced to a man by the name of Frank What Webster. happened after the cult of Saturn disappeared in 2013? This is where it gets interesting. And this is the only surviving accounts of that entire situation. And if you want to discover this, the information is right all here with every source that has been pointed out and, and, and everything brought into it. I managed to get my hands on a 5 gigabyte raw file on anonthas.com filled with information. I haven't seen so many archive threads pictures and audio files but about let's talk about this file now there was a youtuber by the name i believe eudoxia mysteries and a reddit user by the username mugetsu tv both explored this five gigabyte file so you and i task force don't have to and they called it the internet's biggest rabbit hole so like i said a lot of information but in this file were links to a blog by a woman named tara in july of 2015 this shared some of her experiences involving a cult. All right, let's go down to the Trail of Deceit and actually get down to the meat and potatoes of this. Now, Trail of Deceit, this is where we're going to be analyzing everything. This is a post in 2015 by Tara Arasho, all right? Now, in this post, we're going to start off with, I joined a group called the Cult of Saturn in about 2010. One of I the owe it to the world to tell people who the Cult of Saturn really are. My name is Tara, and I've been researching the cult's activities for years now. I was living in North London at the time, house sharing with a group of guys and girls in a communal converted warehouse space. It was a crazy time. These guys were real party animals, 24 hour party people. They were into drugs like ketamine, the occult, and generally living dangerously, YOLO. Because I don't want to incriminate in social media. So I'm gonna obscure everyone's face as much as I can. But this is just basically a party that's going on in London, right? It's, it it kind of looks like a fucking rave. Now here you got Richard. How do I explain all of this? Back then, there was an urban legend circulating about a book. People were searching high and low across the oldest and biggest libraries in Europe for an old book called The Book of Loki, or Lock and Key. It was supposed to grant you power beyond imagination. The book of the key of the lock was. Well, all the way down to fucking fortune, apparently. Where, where does one find the book and the key or the lock, or the book of Loki, the book of Lucifer? To which, of course, 4chan outright says, in the magical land of Google, never change. Never change, X, never fucking change. People went out of their way to search for the book in most, if not all, of the libraries in London, but without success. There was one page of the books. And apparently this is the only page that is claimed to be from the book of Loki or the book of Lucifer which is apparently an etching of William Blake's Death's Door. Of course, Rich decided to hunt this book down and ended up finding like some user in Reddit who apparently claims he has a copy of the book and posted this exact image. Talked about the content of the book in detail. I couldn't find any information regarding the book's real existence and its content. I found something interesting in the raw file. There were numerous links to the keys related to the book. There was key number one, key number two, key number 2.5, key 3, key 4, and the last key named Stairway to Heaven. There's also one last link named You Are in Hell. If you try to go on the websites, it will tell you that the content is either missing or that you don't have the permission to see it. One of the people that were shortly investigating this with me on Discord 
gave me an account so I could sign into the website. A very and basic have a summary, because there is a lot of stuff. Uh, one of the mysteries surrounding Cult is the Book of Key and Lock of Saturn. These are only the keys I could find to this day. People try to solve it on forums, or they just aren't able to. And this is what the, the link gives to. It looks like the moon, and there's just a lot of stuff. Uh, 24, the lyrics in, in Black Hole Sun, Sun, song being related to this. That's a good song. It's a song by Soundgarden. It's a really great song. Uh, how Australia's hidden libraries are related to this. How Conjuring Arts Research Center is related to this. Um, there's just a lot of stuff. Arthur is the once and future king, which Nick said was the key to the key. The internet only further fueled the rumors. One of my friends, Christian, was obsessed with finding the book. So when one of the cult claimed to own a copy of the book, Christian instantly joined and dragged me with him. The cult were always talking about all this strange spiritual stuff, about planetary influences on people, astrology and alchemy, about drugs opening up your third eye and how you could become enlightened by meditation and tuning your chakras to what they called the cosmic cube. Then they organized these recruitment activities. Patera wrote that in order to get his cult taken more seriously, Frank Webster started elaborate recruitments in London where he would take his cult into the streets for promotion, doing things like spray painting occult symbols on walls or other small efforts essentially that he would call missions. People go out on missions in London to recruit people. Now, jumping to the end really, this recruiting method was somewhat successful in that they gained around 30 additional members to this cult uh, at the Occupy London protests, if you recall those of many years ago. So yeah, this is just kind of now the start of the cult of Saturn. Be accessed from the main site. And again, these are more and more posts from Frank and Lucy just socially advertising all of this. Kind of connect. So Tara found out in 2011 that one of the cult members convinced Frank that the cult would gain a larger following through making itself into an ARG. Of course, the majority of the false prophet hype starts around 2012. This must have been when Frank and Lucy were doing their biggest viral promotions. And this is back when they're on like Unforum, ARGBB. Like, I don't, dude, I don't even know these websites. And I've been on the internet for the fucking beginning of time. Let's be fucking real. My research shows they got the members to spray paint these weird symbols all over the world. Lies, they will. You see it all over the city. Police say it is a crime. Police have had it with them, painting up the town, and tonight a task force is taking aim to stop it. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl is in Detroit. Uh, anything that they can get their hands on to vandalize, they will. Just that can land them in prison for up to a year. We've identified probably over 50 individuals. Posting about their cult in relation to the end of the world theories with the Mayan calendar. If you recall, 2012 and the years prior, uh, were a buzz with the end of the Mayan calendar. 2012 was even a movie about, like, the end of the world. Yeah. Joining us now, we are going live to downtown Los Angeles right now. Uh, Tommy? If you look over there behind me, that's a, a tornado. Yes, a twister in Los Angeles. It's one of many tornadoes. And so they were really trying to take some of that social momentum behind that, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, Urban legends, myth, right, the myth theory. Or... To spice things up, there was a countdown on the 21st of December 2012 from all over the world. The countdown was somehow connected to the idle hands. So this countdown served as a big recruiting chance for the cult. Mark, the interesting part is that his links underneath this connect this game with the internet horror story about a newspaper called The False Prophet, which can be accessed from the main site. And I had to begin to realize, okay, I, I think I'm involved with a cult because they kind of eased her into it, slowly unveiling weirder and weirder information what the and opening up their dude, true nature a little bit run more. as far as you can, as oh, yeah. fast as you can. Oh, yes. This, you're going to be sacrificed. Well, perhaps. To Saturn. To Saturn. These people places. worship the planet Saturn and the ancient Roman holiday, the Saturnalia? Believing one day, the old ways would return. The time of monsters, when kings become fools and fools become kings. They were trying to bring about the end of the world. Things got out of hand. The cult started recruiting new members in droves. 
Yes, indeed. Um, okay, uh, so we also had this huge conversation with me about Marvel for some reason. Apparently the original version of the cult was an apocalypse cult, and they were saying the world was going to end in 2012. So we have talked about this before, guys. Basically, uh, the original cult was kind of tying into the world ending in 2012. Apparently that wasn't the end goal at all. In fact, uh, they were rather reach some state of enlightenment, which only further kind of expanded the cult to the Tesseract. So if you remember, yeah, in the Avengers. Um, now, the original Avengers was made around 2012, would have been happening at the time of this. And uh, basically, yeah, so if you remember, Loki unleashes... Uh, hell onto New York City. Um, in more recent, after Thanos and Avengers Endgame, we had the tie-in series where Loki traveled back in time to 2012 and changed the timeline. So you can see the cult was probably getting interested in some of this uh, side mythology there. Running around panic about the apocalypse. Again, so we're talking about this. Um, so way back in 2012, the date the Mayan calendar realigned, the world was supposed to end, but instead what happened is there was a shift and there's a new countdown timer going to 2048. So, so apparently the year 2048, you have the way, cult they jumped on talking various about social media another apocalypse date. They even created a website called falseprophethq.com. This website was littered with occult symbology and symbols, and they actually had a countdown that featured on the front page that said, quote, the end of the world. Essentially counting well, down. what happened to Cult of Saturn after 2013? Did they vanish or did they just change the location they operate at? Well, the Mayan calendar launch. This is where it all went down. God, it's such a surreal trip looking back. I still find it hard to differentiate what's real and what's not. I have this memory clear of day, of walking down the street with Christian after we had just done some lines of ketamine and him saying to me, have you walked through into different dimensions yet? I just looked at him blankly. When he pulled out me into the side alley, it was hard to concentrate when I was so smacked out, but I could see that he was kind of waving his arms around in strange patterns and tapping on the walls. Then my eyes fogged up. The bricks of the wall kind of fell away into the psychedelic goo, and it was like a glitch in a video game. I could see all of this colored space stretching out into infinity. He grabbed my hand and pulled me through. The rest of my experience that night was just a psychedelic trip, floating around in surreal places from movies and films, watching historic civilizations that haven't been built yet. And then me and Christian just kind of avatars in this virtual world of colors and shapes. This frightens me. Yeah? I don't know. There's just something weird about, like, chat rooms. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. It... I've always been afraid of them. It's twisty-turny, man. Like, there's so much loose ends on mysteries like this. Now, I took it upon me and wanted to check it out for myself. Is there anything related to Cult of Saturn in the 3D chat room worlds.com? I decided to quickly create an account and download it. The entire registration process is a bit odd to my liking, but it worked out in the end. When you join worlds.com, user named Clay. So this user Clay, like many others online in the occult communities, was trying to find that elusive book. You remember the, the book that was right. referred to as the Book of Loki. Book of Loki. And they came to the conclusion that this cult in this game must be related to this book. <laughs> But yeah, at this point, the, the cult of Saturn seemed to disband. Let's kind of jump to that chase. Oh. Um, now. What? And, yeah. <laughs> I think, well, d did the cult itself disband or did they just shift their form? That's the question. Oh, um, like a chameleon. Like a chameleon. Now, in 2013, rumors of a cult on worlds.com began to appear online, which involved, once again, those people we talked about, Nexilist and, quote, following the white rabbit. Now again, remember, uh, Nexilist's avatar featured all black clothing and a kind of artistic take on a rabbit's head. I would very, say so. It was a very creepy, almost geometric. Round-ish face, yeah. but then also had like long ears that pointed up. It's yeah, in April of 1995, worlds.com comes online. It's a chat room style 3D virtual world. And it was introduced by the company Worlds Incorporated. Think of it like Ready Player One, a very, very early version, lo-fi as all get out version of uh, Second Life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. 
Worlds.com was a new and more interactive version of immersing yourself into an online world compared to, for example, video game consoles at the time, right? The SNES, or the PlayStation, N64, Sega Saturn, all coming out in this kind of time window. Right. But as they could personalize their appearance, they created worlds that they could be much more familiar with. Modern takes would be like Roblox or Second Life. I mean, this, this was very new at the time, but now that we speak of it... God. Yeah, just themes, you Bowie know. World, Think of this Sky as GeoCities or MySpace, Holy but in hell. three dimension. In Worlds.com, you had a lot of freedom when it came to room creations. Nexialis used this opportunity to fill a room with satanic symbolism and graphic imagery. He would take this to a more disturbing level, sending players audio files of supposed screams of burning animals. Then there was another individual named Jimbley. Jim Lee was an active user that also had followers. In order to join his rooms, you need to provide a mugshot of yourself. Jim Lee's rooms were filled with pictures of users, even explicit ones. Where users claimed to speak with Nexialis, the famous figure of worlds in search of something called White Rabbit. White Rabbit being something from the ARG created by the Cult of Saturn. Nexialist would send a location to those who messaged him about it, which would bring them to a room which was quite interesting. It was now apparent that the Cult of Saturn owned rooms on Worlds.com. Clay would return on 4chan to apparently give the location of the cult now on Worlds. Clay would explain the cult did post an image which apparently included an image of the book of lock and key and the name of Nexialist. He would encourage other users to message him in an attempt to get the book they'd been searching for for so long. People came up with the conclusion that this procedure is linked to the movie Donnie Darko, which is rather mysterious in nature as far as I remember. I watched it a few years ago and I remember that certain scenes had a lot of symbolism going on and there was a lot of theories surrounding the movie. Worlds.com survived and it's still, to this day, all of these anonymous users started to then repopulate this world to say, okay, is there a cult happening here? What's really going on? Regardless, the story kind of made it go viral. It seems that this person kind of like, you know, was drawing people in over the years to what like you're trying degree, to it's hard to say. Right, it, it, agree with you. I'm just yeah. saying like, there must be some reason as to why these these folks stayed behind. And some people believe yeah, that, that it's, it's cult-centric, nefarious. right? Nefarious. Nefarious. So, within Worlds.com, Nexialist had a very large following and was known as the key bearer. It could be because of this following that they stuck around, it could be for many different reasons. But it is rumored that finding him within the game is extremely difficult, if not impossible. Some say that the only way you find him is that he finds you. Yeah, exactly. And so it leaves you with nothing but questions. I mean, for example, like, okay, well, if this is an ARG, what about Nexilist? What was he up to? Yeah, he might have looked like Donnie Darko's rabbit character, but what was this all about? What was he doing? Because clearly there was a person behind that. Was that one of the cult's ARG authors, or was this a real person? What? Then you got, okay, that's weird looking um let's see what we got here the cult of saturn has a unique attitude towards institutional authority and aims rather than to oppose a phony order over nature to accommodate the natural gravity of occult forces therefore the cult of saturn has no leader those who claim authority are the greatest pawns under the gravity of saturn Ooh, well i don't know about you but that definitely sounds like some cult shit don't it if you've listened to my previous recordings in regards to the cult of Saturn and uh, this is this is okay, so it stops like, again. It gets windy. There's so like stop me. no 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 no. I'm just <laughs> saying there's like little breadcrumbs of creepiness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here's where you go. Oh, these breadcrumb chunks are bigger. Oh yeah. Because uh, so to delve further into the origin of this disc. Uh, we're gonna need to go back and talk a little bit about on, the uh, cults and arg jacking, right? So that's where you get a lot of the origin of this, and we'll begin by talking about Mr. Robot. So, uh, so Mr. Robot was a television series which started in 2015. Um, it was some tie-in material, so we had Elliot's Notebook, and that was a QR code which led to a website and an alternate reality game. This was hijacked with the message, Hello Anonymous, to get to level 3, you must find the book and the lock. We have our Twin Peaks the Return. So it was a brilliant series uh, created by David Lynch and Mark Frost, uh, aired in 2017. Um, very disturbing, very strange show, but essentially what we've got is fans analyzing the show, analyzing various material, 
and something in the realm of an alternate reality game. So if we look at, um, so we've got a blog here, it's created by Glenn Kingsley, uh, pulling apart the clues, one of which, which comes along, is uh, whilst looking into the search for the zone, which was a website which was tied to the series, um, and yeah, basically we'll see again um, this mysterious message coming up. To get to level three, you must find. <laughs> More recently still, so with Stranger Things Season 4. Now again, there's been a lot of buzz on this, uh, with the I Am Hell's Master, it's been known as the Ultimate Reality Game. And um, uh, so essentially, uh, there was a website, uh, people were looking into it, um, and again, we had the message come up here, Hello Anonymous, to get to level 3, you must find the Book of the Key and Lock. In this discussion we see here, uh, a user of Twitter is mentioned, Ben8124191919. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Singular, good, Katsu Curry today, okay. Various competitions and prizes that the player is entering and uh, sharing some of the cool places I've been visiting in VR chat world. Uh, worlds of darkness, hell. Okay, so this is some of the places in VR chat. Um, now we have, let's write shout to Red Ed means you give me VOP access card in this conference. He's talking to a dancer, a virtual dancer avatar named Jinxie. Right, now this, Jinxie's telling me much about what it's like to work in a virtual strip. Starts talking to this Jinxie dancer, uh, puppy, quickly finding out a lot about people within VR chats. Okay, uh, so learning more about the uh, inner workings of these virtual strip clubs online. Very strange. Uh, ben goes on to say, you know, how did she get into it? Apparently she was out of work during COVID. She met this dude online who offered her a good job. Work staring out the window, can't wait to go home to play VR. Was debating whether to share or not. I'm bored at work, I've been spending lots of time with Jinxie at Club Q. Been getting a lot of insider gossip, like the seediest shit, what happens in VR chat. So I'm gonna post. Let's just say a lot of the admins are into some kinky shit. So getting dishing the dirt on this VR chat world. Um, yeah, some NFTs, purchasing, and more competitions. So he's cautious to share, but basically Jinxie says there's a cult operating in VR chat and other meta spaces. Apparently it's been around for a while, but I couldn't see anything in the VR chat iceberg. That, there is a lot here. So uh, there's even a guy hanging around Club Coop who Jinxie says was part of the cult. His avatar was like a bird or something. I did find a member of the cult, Roxel5. He was speaking to me about the Kabbalah a lot. Apparently a negative version of Biner is a Kiploth. Ties into... Norse mythology, uh, okay, learns a lot about Kriploth. Scary shit. The cult has been trying to channel the space where the unholy ones reside. According to Alistair Crowley, the three evil forms before Samal are said to be Quentiel, Belial, and Ophiel. Okay, this cult is fucking weird. Yeah. Roxel 5 is pretty weird. Says a lot of cryptic shit and has a creepy vampire bat avatar. But he did lead me to another guy who apparently gave me more info on the cult. This guy's name is Psychopomp. Apparently I can find him in the outline, so I'm gonna go now and check it out. Now, Psychopomp has come up before. So we have had uh, various mention of people uh, claiming to have been harassed in virtual worlds, similar in this way to this user Ben. So we have that occurring frequently um, where people are complaining about being harassed by cult members in virtual worlds like uh, Roblox, um, Decentraland, and many others. Right, so if we continue on, uh, Ben is talking about those to explore the outlines. Now, this is where we had this psychopomp character. So, found him really fucking weird. He's sticking to me like glue. So, it's talking about this psychopomp character. This guy's saying the weirdest shit to me. Once I find the. Uh, so, I told Psychopomp I was ready to accept the keys. Now he's paying me with a link to download some disk of files. What the fuck is this? Not sure if it's safe do I download and then here we get to what we've been talking to so disc 002 and um and this is basically what you have. You have members of the cult who are giving out this new disc now it's been what 10 years since the original alternate reality game and suddenly these cult members popping up in VR space handing out this disc too so yes 
very strange. Now, not many people who want to actually download the thing itself because all sorts of computer viruses, but we have had some people explore the disk and show some of the strange uh, contents of that disk, which we're going to go into. Uh, so, yeah, so first off, here we have, okay, so what's this? Uh, video of Psychopomp. Uh, so, creepy rooms. This Psychopomp character is known to hang around. Footage of him uh, and users interacting with Psychopomp uh, deep in VR chat world. So, oh my god, very strange. And then, okay, so this is apparently something that was found on the disk. Um, I downloaded this. What the fuck am I seeing here? It's a folder called Initiation. Sever the tendon, paint the symbol in the mirror in your own blood. Uh, so, yeah, so Ben is uh, exploring the disk for us and he's found these images in a folder called Initiation, which appears to be uh, someone who has sort of self harmed, I want to say. Um, and then we have a Initiation instruction sheet, which where he says, okay, Minerval degree initiation, take psychedelic provided, use knife to sever tendon, paint the below symbol on the bathroom mirror in your own blood. So it's very fucking strange. Um, find, uh, film it and send to our team, right? So there you go. Very fucking creepy, disturbing sort of shit there. Um, so I compiled it. There's a MX files and an audio track and a video I compiled it. This is some very sick shit. So then we have him sharing this video, which looks to be like someone actually cutting, oh gee, oh fuck, cutting into their arm, and then what you see, now is this real, it looks... And again, the more and more you go into it, here's a post. Okay, fuck faces, I've just defeated your hero Frank in an epic battle of stupid versus evil. I know this is just a shitty arc, and I was bored out of my mind, but I did it as Frank told me and painted the symbol on the mirror in blood and took a tab of acid. It was pretty awful, but the Frank thing didn't affect me nearly as much as coming on X and trying to type, which was the single most fucked up experience in my life. I spent a lot of time thinking about that monkey, and in retrospect, I still have no idea what it means. The conclusion, Frank is shitty arc. Painting symbols in blood and taking acid is a very bad idea. Taking acid and going on X is the single most craziest thing you can fucking do. I mean, Jesus Christ looks like a fucking monkey. That's what it looks like. But then there's more symbols of that same monkey. What we have here... So this comes up a lot, this monkey symbol. Uh, it is something that has come up before in the past and appears to have been on the disc. It's linked to a blog, what appears to be a confession of another member of the cult. So, so little pieces coming together and we're getting this full picture of this cult. A member named Gregory Mensa. How weird it is looking back. My life changed when I discovered the legend surrounding an online cult. They were rumored to lurk around worlds.com 2014. There. So, and there, here we have recounting of his initiation through this worlds.com. We're hanging out in worlds.com 24 7 and chatting to members. And uh, so that represents Saturn. Tra Technicolor Dream Transmission Sacred the Cube of Saturn Story, which we'll zoom in and read a little bit better. Type some stuff for Frank and the Cube of Saturn a while back under the name of Sacred before Frank vanished mysteriously. He put two of them up, so I'm going to reblog them here. In my post, I described Binna, the Sephiroth of Understanding. Here's my personal DXM experience that led to my encounter with the Sphere. Now, Timina gave me our Discord and we started texting there. Timina talked about how she discovered the call through 4chan and emailed Frank in order to be accepted. She then joined a Skype group with others and they got cryptic messages and tasks where everybody would draw or write stuff that would later be posted on the false prophet website, Frank's magazine. She gave me some links here and there showing that Frank was even active in 2016, even though the cult had long dissolved. I won't go into everything, obviously, because it's a long uh, sort of confession, but he okay, spends a lot of time with Iron Crown, these, these members. Turns out we all lived in the same city, Kingman, Arizona, just east of the Mojave Desert, except Marvel, he was working, living in Irvine. So, yeah, so what you got is a few members of these cult, and they're living in America, and they're talking about their sort of meeting up, interesting spiritual stuff. My sister had a deck of tarot cards. I was fascinated with the meaning of that. And I learned about the Book of Enoch, and I was fascinated with angel languages, Mesopotamian mythology. Okay, so he's got these two buddies. I won't mention their names. Uh, K13, he's still friends with the guys. Uh, have you ever heard of this book? 
The Arthur Morrow Saturnian Grimoire, The Cult of the Black Cube. What do we have? An anecdote. Spiritual Path. Okay, so this could be the Rite of Change, the Black Cube, to summon Saturn. So here we have um, some of these rituals, potentially um, a ritual manual for the cult. Um, I did really confess to get drawn into this Saturnian philosophy, mostly what the alternate reality game side of things gets used to. Okay, and here we have referring to the uh, spray painting again, which we won't go into. We have talked about this, so yeah, just really uh, breeze over that. But mention of building 3D virtual reality spaces. Can't tell you exactly what the point all the vandom was, except the guy said it was part of some sort of ritual. Uh, this was at the same time the guys were working on packaging these discs to people. Then they drop clues to certain games. The players would solve riddles and find the disc, which was supposed to lead to the location of the book, which would grant the reader gnosis. Uh, so Gnostic knowledge. Um, there you go. Uh, so just to continue, this goes on and we have oh, from Gregory Mensah. So um, the idea of creating this virtual paradise was this sort of thing behind it all. Um, so here we just... So a few guys particularly would organize these deep dives in the dark web in Tor. Okay, so the Tor browser, I don't know if people know about that, but that's a place where you can explore the dark web. And what this blog is essentially saying that these users were sort of obsessed with the idea that Tor uh, was tied into this mythology around the Glastonbury Tor, which is a place in England where um, there's a lot of conspiracy theories tied to it. Basically, it was alleged to be the place the Holy Grail was buried, among other things. Um, so yeah, so you have these people talking about immortality and the internet and virtual reality um, by tying these things together. And this is the spiritual aspect tying the cult together. Um, so I got invited to a private guild which Blue Devil had created. This pre-VR, just a big 3D render. And you had an avatar, skeleton, or a naked body. This crazy courtyard inside a kind of hellish red sky. You had to work with all the other avatars. Some of the guys had blue robes. And I gathered they were in some higher echelon of the cult. Um, so, yeah, so you can just imagine that. And you've got these cult members just kind of hanging out in these 3D worlds, building these sort of satanic places. The idea was you all had to work together and push these switches at the same time, which unlocked a stone doorway which led underground. Um, this is where the cult members could bury themselves in various platforms and maintain a presence. Um, so kind of like a so secret society hidden in these virtual communities. Uh, so this is around time Fallout 4 came out. I was much more interested in that, but they would wake up at four in the morning um, reading this bullshit. Uh, see the glory of Saturn, the Titan, who will cast a new reality on the shores of what we know. It's fucking very so was, I still thought they were mostly nerds. Uh, some, I started to realize that they were bad people. So um, I've got some talk about like, the violence, gun violence, and the idea that this cult may have been radicalizing people by inciting people online to violence. So um, there you go. And um, we won't delve into everything, but you have connection to... Um, actual events. Um, I'm talking about Comet Pizza. I'm talking about the invasion of the White House. I'm talking about shootings. This is all a big joke. I heard them laughing and planning these kind of random acts of violence. The more I realized the people I've been associating were bad people. Uh <laughs> Story you have. The last shared experience with a lot of the job applicants were that people would receive maps uh, for parcel drop offs. These mysterious packages that would be dropped at different locations and they would just be given a map for these things. So yeah, huh. we have a, a very unsettling set Partial of drop-offs. Like they would have an item that they need to deliver. Yeah, I don't. Oh. I don't know. I just have the map of drop that, parcels. That's uh, just that's map, just kind of a map asking people to drop parcels off at different locations. Oh hell, no. yeah. No, nope, here's that's a your, ticking box, and here's a map. Right. You got thirty minutes. This this box is ticking. That box is dripping blood. Heck, and go this ahead one, and deliver it. stinky. You know. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Now. Of, of puppets. So Gregory continues. So the cult were uh, Zoom had grown in popularity. There were lots of different groups, um, and this does tie back into if you remember other talk in regards to this Skype group and people hanging out in that. We had talked about uh, people in worlds who were part of these Skype groups. Uh, so there were bigger high ups in the change. You felt the nature of the group could be better focused. This was when uh, so you have this. Leonard Heinsberg person entering the Skype group with a couple of other trainers. They announced that the cult were initiating a hierarchy of formal degrees, which the members would have to pass through to get to the higher ranks. Um, so the Minerval degree, which we really, have sort of looked like at. The 
a very bleeding edge cult where they're trying yeah. to recruit through very new and it, well i guess this game isn't bleeding edge anymore but they were trying to recruit through right. these new tactics but still yeah they weren't handing out like flyers and stuff like that or just through, Correct. through friends like yeah. they were actually trying to do like ARGs and stuff like that yeah and so it seems like the one of the first instances of a cult finding home online and recruiting online this is one of the first cults that made the transcendence from the from physical world into the digital world to find so, new members. So weird. It's very weird. That's These are my so favorite kind of internet mysteries where like what you would expect from real life yeah. blends into the nebulous and unpredictable nature that is online. It's wild. But that's all the information we have as succinctly as possible. Oh. You know, there um, and we have, okay, so I began to meet up for regular drinks with some of the guys at Sundowner Saloon in Kingman. Uh, so it became an opportunity to bitch, especially on mixed givings, and those at one point suggested doing a visit up to Irvine where a lot of the other cult members were living. There's a lot of warehouses on technology drive in Irvine where many members of the cult had started to congregate. They were warehouses as collective living spaces, communes, I guess, definite. The garden TikTok sort of vibe. So here we have technology drive where they might have been congregating. Uh, the group decided to organize this big event. We were all excited for a road trip. We'd forgotten a lot of the negative stuff and we're just sort of focused on things we could get out of a massive weekend. Girls, I won't lie, there was a girl who I was growing interested in. Briggs lived in Irvine, she was really into CG, bought the Oculus Rift as soon as on the market. She built her own VR gallery. Um, okay, so here's just some of the artwork. We've seen this before. Okay, so yeah, one thing that I've noticed that the Cold Saturn, they go, they're really big on these 3x3 three three images. Like, this, this is like Slender Man, you got like a vampire bat. This looks like some old 90s video game, PC game. This looks like some Illuminati stuff. Um, the Theory of Evolution, I'm guessing. That's just horror. I don't like some evil coming out of the computer and the devil, pretty much. And I don't know what this is. Um, but this Maya girl is apparently sharing her strange 3D artworks. So we went out to uh, there was some event in Las Vegas with all these computer geeks from Silicon Valley. So the girl called Lucy comes up again, who Maya was very interested in, had her OnlyFans, and was making Returning all to the this original money doing by Tara. She described how the cult that she had joined in 2010 would meet a woman named Lucy, who would next introduce her to a man named Frank Webster. Tara described that Lucy was basically worshipping Frank, and was the first to bring the cult of Saturn to the online world. You can find Lucy online through 4chan. She would regularly spam online message boards to add to being Lucy of cost too. Sounds right. Here's the post. Hello, sweet, sweet. So far, I've given you four clues. Have you been paying attention? I hope so. You remember me, X. I am the mouth of truth. Just ask me any question. Trying to get 4chan to play along? <laughs> get out of here, girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? The mouth of truth? Oh, God, lol. That has to be Lucy. She always said things like she had the sexiest she lips in porn. Maya was very inspired by her. In October, we took four days off a long weekend and made a weekend. A lot of fun. It was a hell of a party. So uh, they've all gone out to Irvine and uh, basically uh, these big warehouse parties that they attended in Irvine. So this is a familiar sort of thing with the cult. You know, the original funding from the cult something older called the Fraternus Saturni, which goes way back to the Nazis World War II. Right, so here we go. This cult is purchasing land in the metaverse, wants to own Web3. This rabbit hole goes to You may not be familiar with the company. Uh, so, this is just fucking insane. So we have this Fraternus Saturni is a group started uh, by the Galena Order of Alistair Crowley. Um, and I thought this is just a huge rabbit hole, I can't go completely into it. Started back in 1925 as a Rosicrucian group of the Auto Templi Orientis in Germany. Um, it was shut down by the Nazis. Uh, various trades of funding in 2009 to 2012. The Fraternus Attorney was shown to invented a large amount of, invested a large amount of money in an ARG. So perhaps that's what we're talking about here. Yeah that the funding for this original cult Saturn group was perhaps organized by it. And here we go to some of the familiar things we've talked about. XCR is Jim Lee, Frank Webster, uh, perhaps these people who were all being given money from some other group. Yeah. It's very uh, big, hanging uh, in the virtual world, crypto vault or second life. Um, so it's very hard to analyze at this point. Um, I suppose essentially the idea is that this cult is some of the manifestations which we've been talking about in this video.
Um, and that's where you're getting into this very scary strange stuff. Um, so just to finish up, right, so, um, yeah, and like, guys, we'll, we'll probably finish there, I, I suppose. We could just keep going down this rabbit hole, but we, it's almost too much. So, to wrap things up, yeah, I guess what we have, so, and then, now, basically what you have, so, this website has popped up, again, falseprofithq.com. It appears to be the rabbit hole for the ARG, which has been started up against by the cult, and they're channeling, channeling this energy into that. There seems to be some puzzles on the website which allude to uh, clues hidden within these discs which have been released. No one has thus far solved the clues, but... ...five gigabyte file, it also contains keys which contained puzzles and riddles. These were often given to members of the cult as tasks, each one harder than the last, with some still unsolved. I believe the puzzles and riddles and all of that could probably be a bonus episode in and of itself, just kind of dissecting some of those. I'm going to read one at random here. Dragonlance alludes to how to achieve... I put all the links and references for people to look at themselves. This is the cold Saturn Tumblr. Lots of illustrations of Frank and cubes and shit like that. What is... Like... Okay, so as you guys can see, there's a lot. And apparently, I mean, my conclusion is it seems like, like, unless this really is just an ARG, that someone has just really, really just thought out of and just over a couple of years just really, really made just like a whole lot of stuff for... I wouldn't be surprised if a cult did try to, like, spread its influence. The ones that practiced actual sacrificial rituals, and so I don't think that there's any connection between this, this modern cult of Saturn and the ancient Roman cults of Saturn. I don't think it's a modern take, but I did want to address that here. With oh, okay. The Interesting. Hopes. That's kind of where we're at with this, and that's kind of what we've got. So, very strange guys um yeah so, so i'll wrap up there i will leave it um and that is the alternate reality game which we learn from gregory's blog which has been referred to members as titan titan the biggest alternate reality game um ever known perhaps over a decade old um seems to have disappeared and then resurfaced in recent times in very eerie strange ways okay guys so there you go have it and that is titan the uh the arg that is apparently ran by a cult uh so thanks guys thanks thanks for watching and um yeah we will keep you updated on this as more information develops thank you